Alright guys, in today's video we are talking once again about the big June PlayStation 5 event that is apparently set to happen on June 4th according to Games Beat reporter Jeff Grubb. This is something we've been covering for a little while now because he seems to be one of the only people that has an understanding of what Sony's going to be doing and what they plan to show and actually coming out here and letting everybody know that, hey, this is what's going to happen. Now it's worth noting that we don't know if what he's saying is 100% true, but given his position, it seems unlikely that he would just be making this up. So I want to kind of follow last uh, the last video I made up with this one because he has seemingly revealed a little bit more information about what we can expect with the June 4th event, but he also revealed that apparently there's going to be another state of play that's happening in August. And so I want to relay this information to you guys and give my thoughts on it. And I'm also really interested to see what you guys have to say about this because it really does seem like we are very, very close to this big event. And I'm just kind of wondering what you guys think about this event, what your expectation for this event is, especially after hearing uh, what Jeff Grubb has to say. And I'm also going to be interested to see what you guys have to say about this August state of play. That's pretty late in the year. That's pretty close to the launch of the PS5. So I'm going to be very interested to see what you guys have to say about this. So before we go any further, if you could do me a big favor, hit the like button to help the video out and show your support. And make sure you hit the subscribe button as well so you don't miss any future content. Now, the original report here is something that we've already covered where not only did Jeff Grubb claim that the big event is happening on June 4th, but when he was asked about what we can expect in terms of games reveal, game reveals, and how many game reveals there are going to be, uh, the person was like, can we expect maybe one, maybe two game reveals? And he responded by saying, no, you can expect an entire slate of game reveals a lot of games so that alone is very exciting but we have a little bit of a follow-up here it says update games beat reporter jeff grubb has added to his speculation of the june 4th playstation 5 reveal event suggesting that a state of play will follow in august according to the scribe next month's live stream will be a quote hefty next gen showcase unquote while the august state of play will be like previous broadcasts but quote, now with PS5 games, unquote. So I find this interesting, and I'm going to talk more about it, but I just want to finish up this article and what it says. It says, or this update, I should say, says it all makes sense, of course. Sony will have a lot to talk about in the lead up to its next-gen systems launch, and it would be strange for launch titles like the rumored Demon Souls remake to only be getting one showing, Jeff Grubb adds that he plans to get this all written in a story on Monday, so we should hopefully find out more about his insight uh, next week, which is actually today. Today is Monday, so I was contemplating whether or not I wanted to wait around for this report to come out before talking about this, but you know, there's no guarantee that it'll actually come out today. And even when it does, I don't know what time it's going to be, and I don't want to, you know, keep you guys waiting all day for another video. What I will tell you is that if the report does come out today, and if it really does give us some more significant information, I will either make an update video later today talking about it, or we will talk about it in tomorrow's video. I just wanted to let you guys know about that because, you know, at the time of this recording, there's nothing out there. For all I know, as soon as I release this video, that's when it could go live, and that just renders this video completely useless. But and as it turns out, this is pretty much what happened. I was in the process of finishing this video up and Jeff Grubb actually put this report out. So I wanted to insert this here because I looked over the report, at least when it comes to what he had to say about the PlayStation 5 and the upcoming event. And there wasn't anything too significant that he revealed in this report that we didn't already go over here. However, there was at least one thing here that I feel like is worth paying attention to. And he says, Sony has a couple of events in the works and these should provide a closer look at the next generation. First is a Sony event in early June. The company was originally planning this for June 4th, but it is moving it around. The exact date is more nebulous now. That doesn't mean it's slipping by a matter of weeks though. The early June timeframe is still the company's current plan. Now, I felt that this was important to mention because we've been hearing June 4th, but it seems like it might not be exactly on June 4th. However, he is emphasizing that it's still going to be early June. So very exciting stuff there. 
Goes on to say, what should you expect from this early June event? Sony was putting together a roster of next-gen games, not just first party. The shifting date, however, may cause some complications in that regard. And I do not know if this is when Sony will finally show the physical console itself. It's possible, but I cannot confirm that. I do anticipate that Sony will have shown the PlayStation 5 off in detail by the start of its following event. The company is putting together one of its State of Play video presentations for early August. This will highlight a combination of current and next-gen games. Through August, you should still expect Sony to communicate using its blog and social channels as well. So yeah, that's why I wanted to kind of insert this here to let you guys know that he did publish this report and there wasn't anything too revealing except the fact that apparently it's not going to be exactly on June 4th. It's going to be sometime in early June. And, and to me, that's very exciting because it tells me that Sony is for sure going through with this, but they just haven't nailed down the exact day in early June when they're going through with it. And we can expect big first party games, third party games, and all that good stuff. And he's letting us know that apparently this state of play will not just feature PlayStation 5 games, but also some PlayStation 4 games as well. So with that being said, let's continue with the rest of the video and the speculation I have to do in the rest of this video. I find this very interesting because not only is he saying to us that there's going to be a whole lot of games, we can expect a lot of games, and that's good in my opinion because to be completely honest, I think that is the expectation that everybody has, that when Sony does announce that, hey, this is when our big PS5 game showcase event is going to be, people are expecting a lot of games. Not one, not two, but a lot. And to be honest, I think they're expecting a lot of big games. And those big games don't necessarily just have to be first party games, right? Like not every game that's shown has to be a massive AAA first party game or first party tease. I think we're expecting some big third party games as well. I do think there's a chance we'll see some AA and indie stuff as well. But I just have this feeling that Sony's going to put a big em emphasis on the big stuff that they know people want to see. So when he says hefty next gen showcase, it, you know, again, it just gives you this idea that this event could potentially live up or maybe even surpass all of our expectations. Of course, that's different for each person. But I, th I think it's safe to say that most people's expectation is pretty simple. We're just expecting a lot of big games. And that doesn't mean we have a problem if we see smaller games, but the ratio has to be, I'd say, more in favor of seeing those bigger, more exciting titles. And so it does make you wonder, like, how much gameplay are we going to see? And what also interests me is the state of play he mentions. Now, he says it's going to be in early August. Now, that tells me that clearly it's going to be relating to the PlayStation 5. And we look at the state of play that Sony just had with Ghost of Tsushima, and we basically just saw... Uh, 18, nearly 20 minutes dedicated to just showing off Ghost of Tsushima gameplay. So, considering there's probably going to be a few launch titles, maybe I'd say at least two at the very least. I mean, who knows? Maybe Sony could be deciding to go with just one big launch title with the PS5. That is a possibility, of course. But I think that whatever we see there, uh, and the reason why I wanted to read the second part of this little update, is they believe that this August uh, state of play is going to be done to showcase more gameplay of some of the launch titles and I think that makes a lot of sense but I just I do have to wonder like you know if Sony were to dedicate this June event or this June showing to showing most of the big stuff maybe it would make more sense for them in their August state of play to dedicate that towards like smaller stuff potentially maybe like indies and possibly future VR stuff I don't know but I think that this also makes just as much sense where it's like, yeah, you can't imagine that they're going to show everything in terms of gameplay and they probably just simply wouldn't have enough time when it comes to the PS5 games that they plan to launch within the first year of the PS5. So maybe it would make much more sense for them to kind of dedicate a state of play to just showing off more gameplay. Now, whether or not, you know, we see a situation where basically the only big launch title alongside the PS5 is... Demon Souls remake from Bluepoint, and then they decide to dedicate uh, this August state of play to just like showing straight up 20 minutes of Demon Souls ga uh, gameplay. To me, that would be awesome because that's like a title I'm really looking forward to. I think some people would be a little bit underwhelmed if it was just that, though. So I don't know. I guess this is why I'm making this video because I really, I, I not only wanted to relay this information to you guys, but again, I really want to know what you guys think of this. What do you think when he when he says a hefty next gen showcase? Tell me exactly what you're expecting in terms of not just how many game reveals, but 
Do you expect more AAA game reveals than anything else? And also let me know what you think about this August State of Play. What do you think he means when he said now with PS5 games? He does say games. So are you expecting to see multiple PS5 games? Do you think they're going to be third-party games? Do you think they're going to be first-party or a mixture of both? Leave all your thoughts down in the comments below. I will be very interested to see what you guys have to say. Again, leave the video a like if you did enjoy it or found it informative. Subscribe to the channel if you're new and haven't already. Hit the bell notification icon so you never miss an upload. And feel free to share this video out on top of all that. But until next time, guys, take care.